aha, my like big moment around goal setting was that my goals weren't lighting me up in terms of how I wanted to feel and that I was doing a lot of things to myself to reach my goals that actually weren't nourishing and that the goal was eclipsing what my body was saying or what cash flow was saying and basically I wasn't feeling the way I really wanted to feel. The revelation is that everything that you're doing, everything you're doing, what you're eating, what you're bringing into your home, how you dress, who you hang out with, what you say at the boardroom table is because you want to feel a certain way. And most of us aren't conscious about how we want to feel. And it's the most basic, primal, and divine question that you can ask yourself. How do you want to feel? It's potentially revolutionary for a lot of people, especially when we live in a culture that's all about sucking it up and enduring and not picking up the cues your adrenals are sending you because you set a goal. And usually the goal has a lot to do with being liked. You have to delight your way to delight. You've, if joy is the aspiration, you've got to make joyful choices today because your choices today are going to create your tomorrow. And really, really at the end of the day, this is just about being present and really getting in the driver's seat of your life, really taking radical responsibility for how you feel, how you want to feel. You know, I think a lot of the belief system in this sort of self-help new age space is that you know we're constantly creating our reality agreed we are constantly creating our reality but you've got to leave room for mystery you can't um, you can't explain away why everything happens to you but you get to choose how you feel about everything that happens to you and that in a very roundabout but essential way it goes back to your goals and your aspirations. Living a healthy life for me is about freedom and you know everything I all of my priorities always go back to that and freedom for me translates to how I show up here um, what I ask for there's a lot of no thank yous in my life I say no to 80% probably more of what comes my way so that I can do what really matters most to me and you know and then it's a personal choice to live a really clean life. I work just as devotedly to have you know a clean body and a clean life as I do a clean mind so there's a lot of contemplation for me there's a lot of silence and there's like a lot of rock and roll um, but yeah I, I have a great relationship with the light and that's what works.